What's up guys? Anthony here with Empire Music, empiremusic.com. Phone number at the shop. I like to always get the house cleaning out of the way right up front. 412-343-5299. You can also email me directly to anthony at empiremusic.com. And finally, I get to be in a guitar video because I'm not the one playing it. And that's always been my impediment there with the old six string beast. I am joined today with dear friend, great player, and one of our instructors here at Empire Music, Andrew Fitz. Hello, everybody. So if, uh, you know, that's also a thing too we don't talk about probably enough is the fact that if you're local in the Pittsburgh area, and I know a lot of our, our YouTube views are all over the world, and thank you always for that. And also subscribe to the channel while we're talking about YouTube, please. Appreciate that. But if you're local in the Pittsburgh area, we have a great music program here. Um, and Andrew's one of our teachers, so if you like what you hear from his playing, and he's an amazingly versatile player and, and, and a, a great educator here, uh, but that's also available, although you're pretty booked up right now. Sure, we can always make room. Yeah, though. we'll figure By something, all means, we'll come figure and see something us. out for you for sure. <laughs> um, and Andrew and I have been friends for a long time. We've run in the same music scene here in Pittsburgh for a long, long time. Playing, for longer than we'd like to admit. Playing some very weird music at times. <laughs> but it's funny, we've never really gotten together and played together until recently we did a, kind of a one-off Sublime tribute gig, which is also kind of weird too, considering the weird music that we've both been a part of. To go, to, <laughs> the time that we played together was True. playing, no knock on Sublime, I love Sublime, but to, to do a Sublime cover gig was, Kind of odd. Pretty wacky, there. yeah. But it was fun. I had a great yep. time doing it with our friend Nick Bello on drums, who's an amazing drummer great here Great player, in for sure. Yeah. And it was funny, because we kind of threw that, that was thrown together pretty quick. We did. It was, it was fun. One I think, week. I think we killed it, too. That's it. Um, so, showing off today, Empire 67 HSH Super Strat from the Fender Custom Shop. I'm going to grab one back here. Um, Andrew's holding one in Heavy Relic Black, NOS Black anodized guard, so we get some cool, and that one's in copper. copper. So cool color schemes there. Now I know on its surface, it looks pretty much like a high performance beast, you know, with the, the humbuckers and the Floyd Rose, though mine doesn't, he has the Floyd Rose, mine doesn't. True, true. Yeah. Um, but it looks like high performance, but as you'll see, they're remarkably versatile, and I mean, obviously you're the player, but they're very playable too. Yes, absolutely, and as we will demonstrate, it can be a metal machine if you want it to be, but it also has these remarkably sweet tones. You yeah. know? Uh, versatility, as he said, is the name of the game here. And what, what's cool too, and you know, versatility and playability, because we'll kind of, well, let's got to rewind here. So with the custom shop, we do a lot of exclusive models, yes. Empire models. We do a 67 Strat with three singles in it, which Andrew owns. Yes, right? proud owner. And then we also do it in HSS, which is a little different pickup configuration. And then this in HSH. And we also do it in a Tele, which I should have brought one up. No, well, whatever. And the 58 P Base, which is one that I designed here. Very cool. Yeah. He owns one, I own one. We've put our hard-earned money back into the, the product that we have here at Empire. And we'll show you what. And he technically doesn't even, <laughs> he just technically doesn't even work here, but we put our money back into it. It was pretty cool. Yep. Um, so some of the specs. Now, the, the carryover specs with all of our exclusive stuff, roasted alder body, roasted maple neck. So it's in the bases, it's in the tellies, it's in all the strats. That's kind of the thing. Outside of that, they all kind of have their own little tweaks on there. They all have our exclusive pickups in it, except the HSS, which has two El Diablos and the EVH Wolfgang in the bridge, but two El Diablos up here. This particular model, though, has the EVH Wolfgangs and then our 67 in the middle. Now, yes, yeah. The, the secret sauce, a really, really nice, it's a great strip. It's a great strip. Yeah, there. as we'll show you, those 67 for a single coil pickup, beautiful, uh, well balanced output, and you can do just about anything with them. Yep. And then zero friction knob on the volume. So if you want that to act as a kill switch, it's fast enough that it can do that for you. Tom Morello, eat your heart out. <laughs> um, and then this particular model has a modern seated D neck and then it also has nine and a half to 14. So that means it's a compound radius as it flattens out as you go up there. Right. As a player, what does that feel yeah. like to you? Well, it's more important than you might think. You know, as you grow as a player, you develop an opinion about just about every aspect of a guitar. The, you know, the contour of the back of the neck, the, the uh, front of the neck, the size frets, everything like that. But that compound radius, when you come up from playing uh, rhythm stuff to the lead stuff, 
the difference in radius does mean an awful lot, just in terms of the way you feel and the security under your fingers. I think it's a great It might feature. not be for everyone. It's right. not something you have to have. Obviously, you can still shred on a seven and a That's quarter. That's true. Got yeah, it. yeah. But it's, it's a feature yeah. that we thought was a nice kind of modern touch, but I also think a lot keeping of with appreciate it. Yep. a standard-ish nine and a half down yep. here. Then C to D. So what happens on the back of the neck there is you go from like the, the, the rounder C, if you could think of the shape of a C, to a D where you have like kind of that flattened spine in the back, yep. which is kind of the same thing. And I remember having, I remember having an older Tobias bass that had mm -hmm. an asymmetrical neck on it. It was kind of the same deal. So what happens is as you go up, your hand naturally wants to kind of get tighter there. True. It kind of just follows that curve. Yep. At least that's how I interpret yeah, it. Again, true. not a necessity to have, not like you can't play on something that doesn't have, but a nice sort of like high performance touch on a guitar. So no question. versatility and playability off the charts yep. with something like this. Um, tonally, again, we'll kind of walk through some of the tones and uh, I'll get this out of my hands because no one needs to ever hear that. We'll <laughs> let, the, we'll let the, the maestro over here kind of do his thing with it um, tonally. Okay. Cool. So, so we're going to start here in neck position. Right. Uh, I'm going to show you some go, rhythm stuff yeah, first. Clean-ish, as clean yeah. as we kind of want to get, not like pristine so again, take, Fender Princeton thing. Take into consideration we got a 5150 over there <laughs> and uh, these particular pickups, but man, the sensitivity in this stuff yep. is really, really off the chart. So let's start off like clean-ish. Neck position, yeah, right? we're gonna just uh, we're gonna be on about half volume here to give you a taste of the pickup at, at first. <laughs> right, and we'll goose that up a little bit more. up well but if you dig into it it'll give you a little bit of a satisfying breakup around the end. okay so we're gonna go up and you're just gonna hear it brighten up just a little bit on these tones and now we just go to that 67 all by itself. You won't believe all the different stuff we can do with this. I'm all the way up here. That's just the 67 by itself. That's really rich. A single coil pickup. Okay, now we'll combine that with the bridge. And you're gonna have to it's going to start to crunch and snap a little bit more. And then all the way back, even in this clean position, we can... Or we'll snap for you. That's great. Okay, oh. we move over to a higher gain. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's hit the amp with a little bit more juice. All right. So we're gonna go back to that neck pickup, and now you hear a lot of the breadth to it here. Just combine that with that 67 and the same thing will be nice and bright. Okay, we'll go right to that middle pickup so only Just 67 now. now just again. the 67. <laughs> Pretty 
pretty good for just a that's, little that's single great. coil it's pickup. Killer. Yeah. It's so killer. Okay, now, as we said before, as we veer towards, we're going to combine that with that humbucker, things are going to start to bark, right? So we'll be able to go from... <laughs> to that bridge pick now up. max crunch <laughs> you really can't outdo this in terms of just what it'll do for a rhythm or what it'll do for a rhythm or a lead song right? <laughs> <laughs> it just doesn't Dude. get any crunchier yeah, than man. that. So, great guitar, obviously, tons of sounds, but it also takes a great player to make it showcased in such a way. Um, and like we were saying, we were kind of talking about this stuff earlier, when we talk about like the sensitivity of a guitar. So you notice yeah. just whether it's rolling the volume back a little bit, cranking it full up, or just in, in touch. Yeah, let's give a, a, an example of that. So. We'll bring it back up around this uh, these back two pickups here, right? right? And we'll just play with, and where you're gonna go full to, full yeah, volume, almost like about eight and a half, or, or just nine. change the touch of your hand, right? And all we're gonna do is go from something like this. <laughs> anything on the guitar we just went from this kind of a touch to it, so it's funny because I always say that like when every time I do the video not that we're gonna play this but every time I like, grab a P bass and I, I love our Empire design pickups in this yeah it's the same deal. Like I always say, we want that. We want the instrument to be an extension of the player. So if you're light touch, if you're heavy touch, depending on the music, the the, the passage that you're playing, yeah. In, like you want that to be sensitive to you as a player. I feel like anytime a, a, a lesser guitar smith just doesn't have that sensitivity. It's true, and that's yeah. not always a good thing because it's like you know if you have an inconsistent. Uh, touch or you have like, you know, like I can always yeah. say warts and all with the player right you get in really good instruments um, so it but it's nice again I would just really appreciate an instrument being the extension of me and something that I can sure. feel like I can communicate what's sort of coming through the heart through the brain however right. that's supposed to be yeah. and then you know out so be, be a kind of a and, conduit for it so, and these pickups are so rich that you can exploit any part of them that you really want to um, whether it's the, the super pingy high end, the punch, or the really, really rich uh, bass frequencies on the yeah. neck. It's just great. So, yeah. Empire, Empire 67 HSH Super Strat from the Fender Custom Shop. We're a massive custom shop dealer. I'll put a link below if you're watching this on YouTube to our HSH inventory. Andrew, thank you so much for playing, man. My you really pleasure. did a great yeah. job showcasing that guitar. Thank really, you very really much. appreciate yeah. it. And keep in mind, if you're in the Pittsburgh area, you want to take some lessons. Andrew's one of our teachers. We have Come great instructors us. here. Give us a call at the shop, 412 343 5299. We can get you scheduled in on and any of our instructors here. Um, also, give us a call if you're interested in any of the guitars or if you see anything on the website. And you can email me directly too. It's anthony at empiremusic.com. Also, keep in mind, 0% interest financing is available on most of our items. We also do free shipping, and we do a pro setup on all the guitars that we ship out to you. So, again, thank you for watching. Empire 67 Fender Custom Shop HSH. We'll see you next time.